Good evening, and welcome to the St. Petersburg by Night Podcasting Network. Tonight, we present to you our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, Mementos. Welcome to another St. Pete by Night revamped production. The following is rated for mature audiences and may contain graphic themes that will be distressing to some viewers. As always, we recommend you ensure the safety and well-being of yourself and those around you at all times. Viewer discretion is advised. everyone and welcome to the St. Pete by Night YouTube channel where we play St. Petersburg by Night, a massive multiplayer tabletop role-playing game set in the world of darkness. We play Vampire the Masquerade, Hunter the Reckoning, and Werewolf the Apocalypse. My name is Nikki, also known as Crafty Mirage, and you can find me on all social media at Crafty Mirage, and I'm one of the storytellers here at St. Pete by Night. Make sure to check out St. Pete by Night on all major social media platforms. We're on Twitter, we're on TikTok, we're on Instagram, and we're on Twitch. But you should check us out on our website, stpetebynight.com, where we have our city map, storyteller profiles, and our one-of-a-kind threat meter. You can also find us on a podcast service near you and listen to us on the way to work. If you weren't already a subscriber here on YouTube, you should go ahead and hit that follow button and catch up on our past episodes. And if you're interested in playing with us, come and join our Discord server and be a part of our amazing community. Today we are playing Mementos, one of the Camarilla Chronicles here on St. Pete by Night. Let's go ahead and introduce our players. Hello, I, hello, I am Leaf, the technology-impaired Lissambra. Yeah, I'm Wex. I play Emmerich Bale, our uh, resident Tremere. Oh, I'm uh, Ro Mortui Guild on TikTok. I play Sean Allen, the nerdy Nosferatu. Hi, I'm Panchi. Uh, I am playing Wally, the weird, tall, pale Nosferatu. Hey, I'm Leisha. I play Parker, your friendly neighborhood bruja. Last session, our coterie got together and confronted each other on the very complicated moral qu quandary that was Ramona the Salubri. There was an Elysium where it was ultimately decided that the Salubri could stay in the city of St. Petersburg, recognized as an official clan. And the Tremere took great offense and umbrage to that by pulling all of their resources and doing the kindred equivalent of quiet quitting. The... <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh with that one. Um, they, uh, Leaf and Emmerich butted heads and argued to make to get their points across on why they did what they did. Not really getting to a, I would say, common level of understanding. There's still some tension there, I feel. But there, an agreement was made amongst the Coterie for Leaf to step down as leader, Parker, Sire, Scott to step up as Shadow, and for Sean to take over as the field head of the Coterie whenever they were out doing a job. After some forced circle time, where Scott mediated all of the troubles that they were going through and experiencing, the Coterie came to an understanding of what of each other's wants and needs going forward, which seemed to be communication across the board, and started making plans to get back to work. So today we find ourselves at the Coterie Haven. Everyone got to work throughout the week, doing their various jobs assigned to them by Scott. And now we are gathering once more for information to be shared and a plan to be formulated and executed. You are at your Coterie Haven, the Indian Rocks Historical Museum, little kitschy touristy museum, and you are at your little meeting area within the library, and the scene is yours. So are we on the same page? We're going to convince Dennis to make a phone call or text for us? I thought that was the plan. That's why Parker and I have been researching this whole time on the best park to meet up at. Well, let's hear it. Um, Parker, do you want to present the information or should I? You can go ahead and do it. Okay. Leaf proceeds to put her backpack down and grabs out a manila folder full of printed pictures, both satellite and uh, in-person views of various parks. Give me a moment. Uh, Parker, if you could send those photos to the group chat in the voice session. I would appreciate it because I don't want to mess up my computer again with my tech issues. So we are actually meeting him in a park then. I, yeah, that's, I guess, a thing we could do. I was thinking something more like a I don't know, more secluded, but uh, if we have a good option at the park, let's do it. Parks can tend to, tend to be pretty empty at certain times of the night, so it should work. Continue. And the plan is lure him and dominate him? Worth a shot. Okay. That way we don't have to, like, you know, kidnap him and throw him into a van. Makes a lot of sense, but even then, I think we might have to do that. <clears throat> oh, backup plan, yeah, or secondary. If we have to, we have to, but let's try to avoid that if we can. Do we still have a van? We still have a van. We still have an SUV. I still have both of those things, but yes, we have access to those. Things. I don't know what happened to it last time I see. We left it on the bridge. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. 
The van's also, like I said, van's available. It's not involved in any sort of craziness, so it's good to use for now. Fair enough. I think I have a couple of options if we want to lure him out. Well, he's going to pull out a list of bookshops and books and titles that might grab their attention. Those are fiction, but well written enough to fool a couple people. And maybe raise some interest we can do some editing and pictures and send a couple of snippets of texts. Also did some background check. Mr. Um, Oscar is not that interesting. Eight years in the FBI. He might not come alone or he might not wish to meet in a completely secluded area. So chances of grab and dash might be necessary. Perhaps for his file, he's not used to do field work. So maybe he will be accompanied. He's usually the talker. I think we should at least try to convince him to come alone. If we don't, we don't. Maybe if we can't, we can perhaps, um, we can always ask Danny, um, Dennis, if he came along the f first time, because if he did, there's no reason for him to come with someone else the second time. Do they normally travel alone? Honestly? I don't know. Depends on the person, I guess. I don't know. Never work with the FBI. That would be a question for you to answer me, my military guy. In other words, rarely, and from what my understanding, they rarely travel alone, they, at least in pairs. You always need a partner in case something happens. That's one of the reasons I was saying a dash and grab would probably be the best, but we would want to find a way to cover our plates as well so they can't run them. Well, the van's not registered to any of us. Yeah, but if we do that, aren't we going to compromise, Mr. Oscar? Because <laughs> that's yeah. why he'll have been a liability now that he's been kidnapped. Yeah, that, that's that we want to avoid anyone knowing about the kidnapping. Whether through something I can do to make them forget, or uh, some other means. If we have additional company, we should handle it that way. I so mean, subdue them both if we have to. If there's more than two, then we have to figure out a better plan. I don't know. I mean, I figured that's where you would come in, Emmerich, with the whole, you know, forget me nots that you do. I can handle that if, we, if it comes down to it, yeah. So, but, but, uh, yeah, so the, the park information, uh, the second one with, with the water, uh, where is that one exactly? Is that up? Out of character, give me two seconds, please. It's very, it's very delicate work for a Lasombra to, a Lasombra player to share uh, tech, the tech inform, information over a tech, uh, a techie thing, a computer. There we go. That's the word. I can English sometimes. We could also maybe get a boat, rent a boat, convince him to get on the boat. Uh, it would allow us to... We need to think of something that Dennis would do. I don't think Dennis would have money for the boat. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. 
But if he's hiding out, he might have acquired one. Can... Crafty, is it possible that we look into Dennis' credit score? To see I mean, you have his phone, you have access to all of his apps and shit, so yeah, you have access to all of, like, his banking apps and everything. Does he feels like he, he would have been able to charter a boat. No, this boy has a, a a barely passable credit. He has he has enough of a credit score to pass the check he would need to rent his own apartment. That's it. He's maybe he didn't charter a boat, maybe he rented it or didn't rent it. He maybe he borrowed it from a friend or stole it. You don't know. Also, it's a lake, yeah. not a river. Oh, it's a lake. That's less good. Thought it was on the ocean. Call the FBI yeah. to the stolen books. No, That's it's a lake. <laughs> All right, so maybe not. Maybe not the. Uh, okay, maybe a boat's not the best choice. I like the picnic in the park. Oh, oh it is the, the water. Beach. Both of them have water. Oh, okay, never mind. It is a. It is a canal. Well, yeah, one is one is more of a canal thing. thing. After after we get Oscar, are we going to dominate him and send him back to bring back the book, or what, what we're going to do with him? I think we're planning on ghouling him, yes, and then sending him back for the book so we know he'll come back. How trustworthy are ghouls into this sort of scenario? If well, we're dealing with someone that might have been. Um, if I blood bond him? then I, I will have almost the guarantee ability to rewrite his memory in a way that would make him, one, believe completely that he is uh, firmly on our side, and two, that he will, well, candidly, uh, yeah, he should be very much, very ma malleable once I blood bond him. I don't feel like it's fair, uh, someone that already has a ghoul to have an older one. That's ridiculous. Why would it? What is unfair about it? Because you and Leaf both not only have ghouls, but y'all has been very um, unprofessional. So I don't trust neither of y'all with the ghoul. I don't honestly care. I'm just telling you what the best course of action, safest course of action is. If you have other thoughts, that's fine. But I, I disagree. But I'm I, open to hearing any other opinions. I don't think it has as much to do with fair as it does what's going to work best. I have to agree with both Emmerich and Chomper on this. Uh, uh, personal feelings aside, we need to get the mission done. Uh, so, like, the best course of action, however... Ghouls are like should be like pretty malleable to begin with, no matter who the dominator is. Correct? It depends. Uh, well, it, it will be much easier for me. Uh, it, not that it'll be terribly difficult either way. Um, if I have the ability to dominate the ghoul, candidly, um, would somebody else uh, take? Bud blood bond him and uh, make him or a request that he be more malleable or that he cooperate fully. Yes, but there's still a chance of failure in that scenario. So it is not, it is still low risk. It is just uh, there is a risk, and I would rather zero risk, is what I'm saying. Let us try to figure out. Um, a plan to acquire him and then after we have plan A and B and maybe even C we can talk about who we should who should ghoul him because uh, I want to try to make this as smooth of an operation as possible without any of the previous hiccups we've had in the past I agree. Anyway, um, Parker and I were given a task to research 
parks and nature preserves in the surrounding area for possible meetup spots. And these are the two that we collectively decided were best for our needs. The first one, and Leaf takes out a printed satellite view of a park, aka it's the first picture that was sent in the session chat. It's a it's a nature reserve, so you can say the name of the nature reserve on stream. Okay. Public um, public spaces are all good. I clear I made sure I made sure to clear that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, so, uh, Leaf puts the photo on the table for everyone to see. Um, so uh, this park is called Walsingham Park. It's 354 acres and has a hundred acre lake. The address is, I, I can say the address. Can yeah, I? You don't, you don't need to say the address. It's, it's okay. Fine. Um, so it has two entrances here. She points up to the top where it says Walsingham Road. And there's another one way at the bottom, but that is an obnoxious amount of acres away. Um, unfortunately, there is an issue of security. There are two security gates on either entrance, which you can see here. And she puts out two more photos of the security gates. And here. Um... As Emmerich knows, in the past, security gates have not been an, an issue for us. However... They, go on. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask, are they, one, guarded, or are they just gates? Uh, and two, are they electronic, or are they like just manual locked gates? They are electronic. I have not seen guards. Yeah, these are these gates uh, at these parks have a uh, just a numeric like key lock. It actually the second park has a code. There's no key. Yeah, and that's what I mean, the code lock. I just oh, can't okay. work. I can't English today, guys. That's a okay. That's been me for like the past couple weeks, so I get it. <clears throat> so both um, parks have these gates. Both parks have these gates. Yes. The other one, the John R. Bonner Park, has a significantly less fancy-looking security gate in a very simple key code, as you can. Uh, but I will get to that one in a minute. So, hear me out on this. Just I, I mentioned the boat before, but. Now I'm thinking about might actually be the best course of action. If he has to leave his car at the gate and walk in, that actually helps us get him alone, one, and two, to see if, well, we have time to observe him, particularly, and he would, and Emmerich's going to gesture at uh, Sean and uh, Wally, uh, if our friends are tailing him quietly. Um, if we had a boat... Whether or not he, Dennis has to not have a boat on scene that we can get him into, we then can transfer him and um, uh, help um, correct him in a way that is uh, away from prying eyes for the most part. Dark, dark on the water. I think it's actually fairly, fairly good. Um, what do you all think? How populated are these parks normally at night? Uh, Walsingham Park closes at dusk. So not populated at all. And John R. Bonner Park closes at exactly 7.30 p.m. every day. So that is also not going to be populated either. I mean, there's always a risk of homeless people or, or just children, kids who are teenagers who are breaking the rules. But um, hopefully minimal, I think, is realistic. So... Are there security cameras next to the gates? I did not see any security cameras. Um, but there could have been 
one possibly hidden that I didn't see, but that risk is very low. I, I'm going to speak from personal experience, Emmerich. Uh, if I was to meet someone in a, in a park, an empty park at night, and they wanted me to go on a boat into the water, I would not, based, mostly due to certain activities and w if this person is who we are suspecting then they might already be on alert yeah so I, it, basic basic I, safety never let them take you to a second location yeah i, I was wasn't oh go ahead leaf i was going to suggest that we open the gate and just let the FBI agent know in a text that they are open late for that night um, and actually leave the gate open and meet up with him at one of the pavilions at either one of the parks. Granted, they are close to the parking lots at both parks, but at each one, there is a separate smaller pavilion that's overlooking their lakes and actually at the second park here and she pulls out another photo of a very secluded pavilion overlooking the channel at John R. Bonner Park. This has an entire boardwalk. She pulls out another photo of the boardwalk that goes all the way down to that pavilion. And so that would be incredibly secluded. The only issue is that this one this Bonner Park is closer to our haven. And if anything goes south, it's close to our haven. How so, much closer? Um, she pulls out a map, which is also in the session chat. Um, and it, sh it, it shows where our haven is highlighted and it shows where the Bonner Park is. The Walsingham Park is like in the middle of the St. Pete map. If you if you look at the website. This so episode it is, it is brought to you. Here. This episode brought to you by stpietebynight.com where we have a city map. Check it out, guys. Yeah, there so you go. Just just for clarity, um, I wasn't suggesting we invite him nicely to the boat. I was suggesting that I uh, run into him, ask him for the time, and then direct him to get on the boat, put on some handcuffs, and say nothing for the next hour. Uh, Again, if he is not alone, we need to make sure he's... If he is alone, then that is that is a good option. But if he is not alone, we need to find a way to s subdue the others. Agreed. And that's why I think the gates being closed makes the most sense because one, he might go alone. He might, if there's someone waiting in the car Two, if there's somebody else with him, where we'll be able to spot that fairly quickly. And three, it, it gives us, uh, makes him walk away from like anything he might have in the car or people he might be able to contact in the car is my thought. If we are already dominating him and putting him on handcuffs, and asking him to be quiet from the get-go. Why bring him into the boat? Because we don't want to come back out into the streets with him, I don't think. And the boat allows us to transport him somewhere else on the water, which is uh, more secluded than on roads. Um, but I thought the park had a lake. This No, this park, and he pointed point at Bonner Park, this one is on the canal here. Yeah, so the entrance is in the canal? I thought the entrance was on the roads. No, the entrance is on the roads. The boat, uh, the, the park is also on the canal. So we have him park there, meet him by where the... Uh, but there's an exit through parked. the canal so the boats can get in and out. Yes, exactly. I have a question. How long does it take to cool someone? Like, is this something that's going to take hours or could we just... 
jump him and ghoul him in five minutes and be done. The Tremere hey. and the Lasombra who have ghouls knows it takes three separate nights. Yes. Yeah. Uh, technically speaking, it would be several days. Um, once the first bond is established, they begin to become malleable, and that's when I can start adjusting his perception of all of us. So the sorry, go ahead, Chomper. So this is just step one, basically. We're gonna have to do this three times, or once we do it, we can just tell him to meet up again, and he'll come back and do it willingly. I think we'd want to keep him under observation and close. Uh... I think we'd want to keep him with us for several days, have him call in sick to work or what have you. Okay. Yeah, then we might be thinking on explanations on why the FBI came in to find the book and never returned. Yeah. Uh, I will reiterate if that's the case, he we would if he does come with a partner that is waiting for him out in the car, it would be kind of odd that he didn't return the same night he left. I mean. He could just send a, a very vague text following a lead. Don't wait up. This yeah, could be or something. We could also just have him meet back at Dennis's house, since that's where they met before, isn't it? Probably. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all scenarios, a plan for all scenarios should anything happen, because Murphy's fucking law. I'm just saying. I know that this guy is not a field agent, so I don't know how plausible it is for him to go following leads willy nilly. Fair enough. What I will say is, we will never plan for all possible scenarios. No matter what, to your point, something will go wrong that we didn't plan for. We just have to make sure that we are aligned on the outcomes we want to achieve, and I think we'll be fine. Yes. But as many as we can currently think of is better than just going in with one or two plans. In other words, we need a fail safe. We okay. What is it? We're kidnapping an FBI agent. There's going to be risks. Oh yeah, I'm and I'm all for taking risks. But we need to think if he does bring a partner, we need to figure out how to separate them long enough. And if he doesn't wish to go in alone at a park at night to meet a college student. We can have him meet on the apartment. Why is the apartment such a bad choice? The apartment's fine. I have no problem with that. I would prefer that, honestly, but I thought we were going with the park. The apartment's fine. We can all be there, most of us hidden uh, or in different rooms. Dennis invites him in. Uh, and then we send Dennis to London, was it, you said? Yes, his ticket is already bought. Send him to London. Once he it will be like, here's your new job, enjoy yourself, and we're going to have a conversation with Oscar. Um, I'm good with that. I mean, that actually does sound a lot better uh, and a lot easier to uh, defend if anything was to happen. Well, it sounds easier to get him to do, too. Yeah. Yeah, like, why would Dennis need to meet him at a park? It's like... It's just because... a college kid that found another book and he was excited because he was supposedly working with the Smithsonian. Because he was uh, theoretically uh, scared and on the run from somebody who was chasing him, but this is easier. Hey, I've got a book. We have to meet tonight. Um, Why would he be on the run for the FBI? Because you guys made him think that, Scott says. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. From where he's been like, sitting listening to you all this whole the time. Through the FBI's eyes. Who's after Dennis? Okay, so 
Is there any objection to just inviting this agent to the house? We need to create a sense of urgency. That was the point. Some reason for the, him to come soon, as opposed to... Yes. I got I... several books that might he might be interested okay. in seeing. You, you, your book hunting went better than my book hunting, as far as finding passable ancient journals. But either way, I'm happy to, to go with that. We can just say, I have this new book. Um, but I have a buyer, maybe, maybe some something something create urgency to get him there soon. You know, if you're interested, it has very similar characteristics. Also, I think it might have the same handwriting as the last book, or something along those lines. Generally, if a big sure. bid, like generally, if a big bid goes for, like, old kitschy books, might be some kindred involvement for that. In that, I don't know. IRS might be it like might flag the IRS that's a whole thing from what I understand I, I don't want to deal with Texas thank you very much I don't think we actually are selling this book we're just having it create the creating the sense of urgency by if telling you him I'm part. saying if you tell them that someone offered an absorbent amount of money for it that might create a sense of urgency but we said already said Dennis is poor for him. What a grand is is a, a, a crazy amount of money. That's not going to flag anything. Maybe not a grand, but ten grand would. So he's getting a thousand dollars. That that's that's fine. You know, I think that's that's something that would be very. Oh, no, you tell the FBI all. agent that he's been offered ten thousand dollars for the book. That creates a sense of urgency. Okay. To the FBI agent. I mean, it would. Pay off his college loan, maybe. Nah. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. I went, sure to, the, I went to the military for head. my education, so. Hmm. So, we send him the send him a picture of the book from Dennis, being like, "I found this in the same collection. It appears to be the same type of book, uh, or the same sort of pattern." Um, I do have an, a buyer who's offered me. Let's say we'll say ten grand for it, but I would prefer. Or this is Dennis talking, of course. Prefer that you, uh, you know, the job you were talking about. So let's let's meet up and see if we can get that happening. Something like that, you know. That sounds plausible. But you know, but if you, you know, if, if the response is like I don't have time, it's like well, if you don't do this, I need the money to pay for college, and the job could also help with that. So. That seems reasonable and not overly suspicious. And then we're all inside the apartment. Dennis lets him in. Uh, that's the only thing I, I really am not sure about is the transition from getting him there, dominating him, and what we do with Dennis. I mean, if we can... I mean, if Dennis makes the call, Dennis doesn't need to be in the apartment. Oh, no. I mean, yes, that's true. One Den Well, if we... If we... If we have him there to open the door and invite him in, that's that's better, I think. Um, can't you right. just erase Dennis's memory afterwards? Yeah, Leaf, you Leaf can just, I think, right? You can just cloud yes. his memory. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. So Leaf can cloud his memory, and I can take care of Oscar, and that's good to go. Uh, it's still a little weird for him, but you know, that's whatever. Ten minutes is ten minutes. Like he can just be going on his way. It'll be fine. So. I say you have Dennis make the call, throw him in an Uber, and then get get him the fuck out of here. That's fair. Yeah, but then who's gonna be opening the door without triggering the FBI? Parker. Me. I'm Dennis's little sister. Or girlfriend. He's a college student. I don't what? think he looks like one that would have a girlfriend. You, you don't know that. Hey, nerds are- ner Have you seen his apartment? Nerds are- ner nerds are cool now. Nerds are cool. We that. cleaned up the apartment. He wasn't the one that made that mess. I think I think he I think Wally's referring to like the video games and stuff. Hey, and the books. Hey, I'm not I'm not I'm not crap shitting on the on them. I'm not saying he's undesirable. I'm just saying that he doesn't feel like he has a girlfriend. Yeah. I had Jesus. plenty of girlfriends before my beautiful complexion. Okay, that's very nice, hot stuff. It, but it doesn't mean Dennis cannot be a nerd and still doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't think... look like he has anything from a significant order in his apartment. I okay. searched that shit up and down. There's no, no gifts from girlfriends okay. whatsoever. So he is not your type. We got that. 
Chomper, you can be his girlfriend. Yes, which is harder to confirm a new girlfriend versus a sister that may or may not exist. So, and he is FBI. So I think the girlfriend makes a lot more sense, even if it's implausible. Uh, once once she opens the door and it's like, oh yeah, Dennis is, is waiting for you in his office or not his office, in his bedroom. He's you know, looking at some book. Also, it's finals week. She might be sleeping with him for a better grade. It's also possible. That That's more plausible, yes. Yeah, you don't know people's motivations. Hey, I like to think that people are nice. Sorry, but Kim. I, his girlfriend works at Walmart. I don't hey. judge. I never had a job in my life. I don't judge. Not You're judging sure. right now! You are judging the judging. shit out of Dennis. No, Wally is. No, oh, yeah. Hey, okay. I'm not judging his work or where he's coming from. I'm just saying based on facts, on what is inside. Like I said, he's not undesirable. But the content of the apartment doesn't point that he has a significant order. Because usually you have like this uh, hoodie that you stole or this box or this, I don't know, a pair of underwear lying around. He didn't have that. I think you're overthinking it. I think we just need to get him believing it long enough to walk in the door and then we're, we should be okay. And Parker can be convincing, right? Parker, you said you could be convincing. Does he have yeah, yeah. All right, real quick, bring, real quick. Bring does, he, the breast. does he have Tinder on his phone? Hey, we can brother. put it on there. There you go. She's a Tinder date. Done deal. Either way, he doesn't need to know about the girlfriend until he opens the door. He's not going to background check Parker. So let's just get him there and see how it goes. I I do suggest using a fake name, though. Oh, yes, definitely. I don't like to find much anyway. My records are expunged. But yeah, if you can get him in the door and then maybe like make your way into the bedroom and that could be like the, the signal or whatnot. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I, th I assume that I guess we'll will we all be inside. Yeah, I guess we'll all be inside. Yeah, I mean, at least, you know, the the two uh the two of us, me and Wally, uh, and you, obviously, am right. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I think we should all be there just to limit risks. And you two can at least, if he does decide to get loud or screamy, dampen that. Yes. Yes, uh, I'll be able to do that. Uh, also, if Leaf is to join in, it might help uh, eliminate any kind of radio frequencies is that like what happens like like an aura type thing sort of but the only thing to really worry about now is what do we do if he has company what do we do if there's more if it's he doesn't come alone if he has a partner knock him out erase that memory erasing the memory of the partner would be too much. It would cause too much paranoia. You could rewrite the memory of the partner. The, the of the partner. That's entirely possible. Yes. It'll be. The only thing I will say is, in that case, we may have to uh, pause at some point so I can go. Um, well, replenish my stores. Let's say because you're asking me to do a lot in this scenario. Can't you just feed from one of them? Yeah, possibly. Should be should be reasonable to do that, yeah. Or Dennis. Uh, knocked out. If we bring Dennis, he could feed from him. I think it's better we just send him yeah, to just, the airport. But we don't... Have Dennis make the call and just send him away on a fucking Uber. <laughs> yeah. That works. Tell him to wait maybe two days. Like, and then take his plane ticket, and then uh, we will have a plane ticket for him in two days, just so it doesn't get flagged that that ticket for him is uh, now active. I think that'd be ideal. So we just tell him to go disappear for a couple days, and then get on a plane. 
and you're going to London, here's your job, yeah? Okay. I'm, I'm good with this if you are. We, is there any problems with this plan? Is it going to be too much for you? No. Or... If you all are there to at least restrain them and I can feed off of both of them, I should have more than enough in me to, to, to get this done. All right, then. So uh, we're going to have Chomper answer the door, bring them in, and then she's going to head into the back room. And that's going to let us know that they're there. Me and Wally either be in the bedroom or in the living room area waiting. Correct. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think you all should be by each of you by one of the exits, one by the glass, the, slide, the, the the exit to the bedroom, out to that patio area, and then one by the front door so we can really just box him in. We also need an outside point, one that is able to both see the vantage point of the parking lot and the apartment complex. Do you want to trust your ghouls to that, or would one of you want, or would you, Leaf, want to take point? I would have no way to communicate. What about Wally? Because the cameras, if there's any cameras that wouldn't see him. I mean, sure. I'm not useful in combat anyway. But I cannot use a comm. You can't use a comm? Silence. It doesn't go through the mic. Hmm. I can text, I guess. Can I? Crafty. Yes, I yes, you can. You can. Yes, you can text when you're invisible. Thank you. All right, so I can leave my phone on vibrate so I can feel it go off. Uh, Wally can take points, and then I can relay any messages to the others. Yeah, just be careful what you send. That's my only concern. Just don't send anything too obvious. I'm going to be using a burner phone. Fair. That works, that works better. But also just be cautious about what you're sending. Of course. Wally, I can give you some code words if you want to send. So... Would it be smart to also have Leaf outside with Wally just in case the other... If there is a second FBI agent that Wally have some backup just in case. Yeah, I can't fight. I will leave you behind and run for my unlit life. Fine with me if it's fine with Leaf. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so me and uh, Emmerich and Parker inside, and then Leaf and Wally could take point outside. No, uh... Lenny could be there too inside, just because if it does, we could require some physicality. She'll be very effective. Inside or outside? Inside. Okay. That was crafty asking. I didn't hear it. Right. And did you want to... Uh your ghoul a part of this too, Leaf? My ghoul is not a part of any of this. Roger that. Alright. When's Dennis making the phone call? I think we should I can go talk to him now. If y'all are ready, we can do this. Well, do we want him to make the phone call From somewhere his apartment? else? Yeah, yes. in case we they to... triangulate it. Yeah, so I don't think they'll be going to that level of detail for this kid, but you never know. Uh, depending on how paranoid this, this Oscar guy is. Um, yeah. I mean, he did give them a very important book, so who knows? At least, uh, they, yeah, they think it's very important, so... All right. Okay. 
So with a plan in mind, you guys uh, grab Dennis, pack him up, uh, gather your things that you'll need for this mission, and start heading over to the apartment complex where you first met Dennis and Ramona. You arrive at the apartment building after about a 15-20 minute drive and you park the car like Lanny Lanny parks the car and you all get out uh I Wally and Leaf I assume you stay outside uh, initially or are you going in first I would be scoping everything doing a walk around okay. making sure that there wasn't anything new security wise put in just trying my hardest to see if anything was fucked with at all, any suspicious persons or cars, etc. Okay, go ahead and give me a wits and awareness. I want to go in and I want to plant the books that I bought as decoy and I want to find myself the first edition of Dracula and put on my own backpack. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me a uh, wits and investigation to track down the first edition Bram Stoker's Dracula that this man acquired. I will be blood surging for that. This book is important. Okay. I pass. We uh, forgot to do our rouse checks. Oh yeah, can you guys go ahead and give me your rouse checks for the evening? I just passed mine because I did it when I realized, oh, we didn't do our routes checks. Pass. Pass one, fail one. Okay. Fail. Both? No, just what I failed on the rouse, passed on the blush. Gotcha. You got six successes on the look. You find the fifth edition, the first edition Braum Stroker's Dracula. What a beauty. It's mine now. It's actually signed. If you looked in the cover, it's actually signed. And it's a dra- uh, To Isabel de Navarra. Much love. Bram Stoker. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. With, with that number, can I can I search for any other book signed by Isabel? No, no, no. It was Isabel signed to it, it was that? signed to Isabel. Yeah. There, there, is there anything else uh, with it, like on the box of things that then is bought from? So uh, yeah, did? with the with the six, um, a lot of the books that you see that like you find the box that Dennis like it was in his closet. Um, you find the box. Uh, it's like a mixture of various types of novels. You see uh, Wuthering, Wuthering Heights in there, but that's like a, like it's a second second edition. Um, there's a lot of like classical romances. There's some books on re- on uh, religion in there, but like the Bram Stoker's Dracula was the one that was like signed personally to her. This looks like it had been a box of books that she just enjoyed reading. I'm taking them all. You're taking them all? <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm finishing with them. All right. <laughs> and you got seven successes, messy. Cr- yeah, like I said, starting off strong as literally always. Oi. <laughs> you were searching for cameras, right? She's searching for cameras. Searching for cameras, searching for suspicious vehicles, searching for suspicious people, searching for every nook and cranny to see yeah, if anything gotta, has changed. I gotta find the freaking compulsions. I don't... Okay, here we go. Um, uh, Leaf, roll me a d10. Lucky number eight. So, while you successfully note that there, you successfully note every single camera in the uh, apartment complex, like like the ones for the car- apartment complex, you note the cameras that are in the neighboring residential houses built alongside the street. 
You know where every camera in this, like, one block radius is. You've scoped them all out, but you've suddenly gotten hit with the paranoia compulsion. As you realize there's too many eyes on this situation. And the only way you are going to be able to satisfy this paranoia compulsion leap is if you fry every single one of those cameras. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it was going to be the paranoia, too. That was the only one that kept popping up inside my head. All right. So. Leaf, you could go ahead and give me a... Um, yep. The tech and oblivion roll to... To to fry these computer To fry these cameras. Uh, and while she's doing that, I need you to do it uh, for me... I'm going to say five times. Give me five of those rolls. So so for this, it would be tech minus two, because that's my bane severity, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So Parker and Sean, what are you two doing? I can't hear you. Okay, that's weird. My yeah. bad. There you go. <laughs> uh, now, if, uh, like, once all the cameras are, like, you know, pointed, I'm going to, well, I'm going to do it before or during or whatever. I'm going to do my uh, auspicate the uh, unseen yeah, passage. Yes. All right. And uh, wait for Chomper, and we're uh, gonna start making our way uh, once everything else is set. All right. Uh, Emmerich, are you in, are you instructing Dennis on how he's making the phone call? Yeah, I was. That was the plan. Uh, once we're in the apartment with Lanny, explaining to him he's going to make the phone call. He's going to uh, tell him what we've already talked about, as far as um, you know. He, he has this other book. He wants, you know, he has another offer. Someone wants to pay him ten thousand dollars for it, but he really wants the job, and uh, go from there. And then tell him what he's going to do. Wait two days cash in this ticket head to london here's your contact all right now are you doing this through supernatural means or are you doing this through just purely persuasion given that i've already like had like a lot of time to work with him uh and convince him of where we're at um i would probably be doing this through uh not uh, through, through, through normal means, just trying to manipulate him into doing what I really would like. Okay, so just normal means. So, okay, so it's going to be a manipulation and persuasion. Can I use subterfuge with impeccable lies? Hmm. I'll allow subterfuge, but not impeccable lies. That's so That's four successes. Four successes? Yep. All right. Yeah, with four successes, easy enough. He will make the phone call as you instructed. Lilith, how many successes did you get? I got four successes. And then you got and one failure. It was a blank? Yes, but it was just blank. Yep. All right. Good news for you. If you had, because if you had rolled a zero, like if you had rolled the skull on any one of those on the hunger die, you would have taken a stain from oblivion use. Yep. I love that. That, yep. But. <sighs> But you're good. So. 
You managed to successfully fry all the cameras. Easy enough. You just you like that those 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 rolls were just to see if you got a skull. Okay. Okay. But that would satisfy your paranoia compulsion. Perfect. I am efficient and I get the job done. All right. So, you're all prepped and ready to execute your plan. Dennis makes the phone call. And as far and uh, as you uh, while you listen to it, it seems to go well. Uh, f- photos of the text that Wally put in the phone are are sent to Oscar. And after a short conversation, stressing the importance of that's that someone offered him money and that if he doesn't pick it up today tonight he will sell it to the buyer who offered him the funds oscar agrees to come in and pick up the book you all wait in your respected areas for about 45 minutes to an hour And after, uh, after, after that allotted time, Leaf and Wally, you see an SUV pulling into the apartment building. I'm invisible. Okay, go ahead and give me your rouse check for Unseen Passage. I am also using Shadow Cloak. Okay, go ahead and give me a Dex and Stealth and you can add your Obfuscate. Oh, wait, no, it just gives you a plus two, right? Hang on, where's my player's guide? Yeah, it's my Oblivion. Is it your Oblivion, or is it just plus two to stealth? Let me double check. Uh, it's... I was saying it was an Oblivion ability. You said obfuscate. Right, my bad. That's what I meant. I said I said the thing. It's okay. I got um, you. I got you. A two-dice bonus. It's a two-dice bonus to stealth. Yes, thank you. You said uh, dex and stealth, right? Yes. St. Petersburg by Night is brought to you through collaborations with our partnered vendors. Wolfpack Dice, Ember Fox Dice, Dragon Ink Dice, Bear the Bard, Champs Tramps, Penshi Artista, and Chromatic Creations. Links to our partnered vendors, as well as our Twitch and YouTube channels, can be found on our website, stpbynight.com. The official theme song for St. Petersburg by Night is Vampire by Faith and Failure. You could find them at faithandfailure.com. You can follow St. Pete by Night on all socials with the hashtag St. Pete by Night. If you wish to support our program, you can do so at coffee.com slash St. Pete by Night to help keep the stories rolling. I got six, six, six. I got six. Six successes. All right. All right. So you are unseen. You are both hidden very well. Uh, Wally, you could just be standing in the middle of the road. They wouldn't see you. Um, I'm right beside the door. <laughs> yeah, you're just stand. You're sitting on the like on the sidewalk, just in play view. <laughs> like for you, it's just like hi. You're reading the book. You're already reading the Bra Stroker's Dracula. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, so go ahead and give me a wits and awareness, the two of you. Do I get heightened, heightened senses? senses? Yes, you can. Four successes, okay. And how many did you get, Leaf? I got five successes. Five successes. All right. Both of you can see... There are two individuals in the SUV. Both are men dressed in suits. 
One of them appears to be, the one in the passenger seat appears to be a Latino male in his early 30s, late 20s. More pushing the third, probably the early 30s. You also, uh, the while the, uh, the man driving the car is a, an older Caucasian man, uh, looks to be in his early 40s, mid, mid to fo- early 40s, uh, with uh, like his hair starting to gray a little bit. But you see the SUV, you both see the SUV park and the man in the passenger seat get out, but the man in the driver's seat remains in the car. I will text Sean that we have two people. One is going in, the other is staying down. And I will relay that. Uh, Through the comms? Two. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Parker and uh, Emmerich, you are now aware that one individual from the FBI is coming upstairs, but the other one is remaining downstairs in the vehicle. You, uh, Leaf and uh, Wally, you watch this individual go, that you assume to be Oscar so go up the stairs towards uh, Dennis's apartment. Dennis has left a while ago, by the way. I forgot to mention that. You guys, after he made that phone call, you guys pa- helped him pack his suitcases up, sent him on an Uber. He's gone. He's uh, going to enjoy his new life in Europe. Uh, but you guys... Uh, you, eventually, Parker, you do hear a knock at the door. She'll go answer it. He, you answer the door, and uh, standing in the doorway is, uh, like I described before, a man, in, a Latino man in his early 30s, wearing a suit. Uh, he uh, looks at you a little confused. Uh, yes. Hello, my name is Oscar Vasquez. I'm from the Smithsonian. I'm here to see... Dennis, right? Yeah, is he here? Right spot. Oh. Yeah, he's just in the back. Come on in. I'm sorry, who are you? You weren't here oh, last I'm time. Oh, I'm Ellie. Ellie? No, I, I'm, I'm Ellie. I'm his girlfriend. Oh, okay. Go ahead and give me a uh, manipulation and subterfuge. Yes, you can add your ingenue. Maybe, you know what? I just saw in the beta chat that maybe maybe uh, Dennis will actually get a girlfriend in Europe. Uh, high or low? Uh, Hi. Hi? I rolled a five. He's not getting a girlfriend, guys. Yeah, well. Of course not. Desmond's gonna keep him busy. <laughs> I got four successes. Four successes. Oscar smiles fondly at you. And, uh, uh, steps in without fear and looks around. So where, uh, so where's Dennis? Oh, maybe he's in the bathroom. I thought he was just over there. Dennis, your person's here. And she'll lead Oscar further into the apartment, closing the door behind him. Does anyone respond to Parker? Yeah, uh, Emmerich will be like, uh, yeah, br- send him back, send him back. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you try to disguise your voice? A little bit, yeah. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> I'm going to give you a choice. Is- I'm going to give you a choice. It's either... Charisma and performance, or charisma and manipulation, or a uh, subterfuge. We'll go with charisma and subterfuge then. <laughs> so does. <laughs> Three successes. Three successes. Uh, Den- uh, not Dennis. Oscar appears un unconcerned. Uh, Parker, but he does a. Uh... Did he catch? Did he catch something? He sounds a little rougher than he did before. He hasn't been sleeping well lately. Uh, okay, that's fair. And he's 
follow it. He follows you all the way to the back in the to the bedroom. Dennis, and he, you see the man step. In, the uh, both Sean and uh, Emmerich, you see a man walking through the doorway of the bedroom. As soon as he walks in, uh, Emmerich look him dead in the eyes. Oscar, and he's going to use mesmerize. All right. You do have to roll. You are going to have to roll. Shit, this is the wrong. These are the wrong cards. It is. <laughs> manipulation and, and dominate. dominate. It's your yeah. manipulation and dominate. And then he has to roll against that. Let's see. What does he roll? Why am I on aspects? Why can't I ever open to the right page? All right, there we go. Uh, he has to roll his intelligence and resolve. Luckily, you guys had his, the sheet done all nice for me, getting you to do my work. Thank you so much, everyone. I yeah, hope I can help. Yeah, it was literally all wax. <laughs> intelligence and resolve. Uh, can I blood surge this? Yes. All right, so first the rouse check for the... Ability use. Yes. Pass that. And then the rouse check for the uh, blood surge. I also pass that. Alright. One of Dennis's dice, or Oscar's dice, just flew right out of my dice tray and into the void. Did I happen to notice if he was wearing a comms? Go ahead and give me a wits and awareness. Thing you guys did, but okay. <laughs> it's too bad Leaf can't see anything going on right now. <laughs> hey, we'll get Leaf has been there to make it not work. We'll where we'll get to the people mm -hmm. outside. See Ro shaking their head. One success. Uh, he doesn't appear to be wearing comms. I mean, could could I do the you know whole just silence everything anyway? <laughs> I know it would interfere with Emmerich though. Yeah, but your silence of death your your silence of death doesn't work affect comms. It doesn't affect live uh, live feeds. It's just Wally's obfuscate. Right. Ob Wally's obfuscate does, but yours doesn't. So mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Um, so how many successes did you get, Emric? Uh, seven successes. No seven break. successes. All right, you are successful. He only rolled four. So I'm going to be very clear in my instructions to him. I'm going to be like, I'm the other buyer. I'm going to need you to walk over to the bed, sit down, put your hands on the bed and leave them there. And we are going to discuss what happens next for the next, let's say, hour, if that works for you. And during that time, you're not to get up. Are we clear? He starts walking over to the bed sits down, puts his hand on the bed, and... I said hands, both of them. I, s I did say hands. Okay, just making sure. I, you just didn't hear the S because for for once in my life, my, I didn't do the Latin thing of enunciating the S's more. I'll get Fair in enough. one second, Panchi. I see you. I will I'll get to you. Uh, but you. But yeah, he gets on the bed and sits down. We move now outside. Leaf and Wally, go ahead and give me a wits and awareness. Yes, is the, is the guy in the car reacting to That's that? That's what I'm. You're, <laughs> you're gonna really roll for. You're it. gonna roll yeah. for it. It's okay. We can wait our turns patiently. <laughs> can I blood search for it? Yes, you can. Murder him if you have to. 
This beta chat is wild, guys. This should be the Patreon, the beta chats of every session, of like every session, like Chronicle and St. Pete by night. During the sessions. Five successes, all right. Just waiting for Leaf's roll now. I also got five successes. Five successes. So you both see him reacting to something. You see him, uh, you see his for brow furrow and you see him reaching up to uh, his ear. And it li looks like he's listening. Leaf, because of your heightened senses, you can hear Emmerich's voice coming through an earpiece. I um, actually, while they have been inside, the moment I saw the other FBI agent, the one that we're after, Oscar, mm -hmm. get uh, head up the stairs, I would start making my way towards the car. Okay. So I just was waiting my turn to be right. able to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So you you do he you do see him he is, he will well he is he has heard uh the the he has heard the command through uh the mics though so that has happened. Yes. Yep. So, yep. Yep. I just wanted to make it known that that was what Leaf would be doing. All right. So Wally and Leaf in uh, taking turns. State your intention. What is your intention this turn, Wally? I will message Sean, like, we've been discovered. They have communication. Right. So you send- Guess we're getting a second goal. So you send a text message out. They have comms. That they have comms. And Sean, you will receive it in the next, in your next, uh, in your next round. I have a question. Yes. Would I know that my ghost in the machine would affect Oscar's comms if I get near him? Let me read up Ghost in the Machine again real quick. Because if Wally would have been aware of that, I'm going to just message them, I'm coming in to jam that shit. So and from try what I'm tell reading, to stay behind. So what I'm reading about uh, si uh, Silence of Death and Ghost in the Machine, it's an extension of silencing you. You can transmit the uh, the effects of obfuscate through electronic media. You can, so but yeah, basically you won't show up on audio is what happens, but his voice still would. Cool. Then I'm staying where I am. Okay. But S sending that message. All right, for sure. Leaf, what is your intention this round? Okay. So my intention. Mm -hmm. is to get uh to the suv mm -hmm. and get behind it a little bit on the passenger side and um attempt to fry all of the tech including the electronic components of the suv so so that it shuts down I will say for you to achieve this, you will first need to give me a dex and stealth to see if you can remain unnoticed. And I'm I still using shadow cloak. Yes, you can, can add I... that. Yes. I got four successes. Four successes. All right. That's enough. So for you to accomplish this, you would need to activate shadow cast. So I would need a rouse check from you for your to activate okay. your oblivion ability. 
that also works because I was going to activate it the next round anyway. Uh, I rolled a messy crit on the hunger die. Take a stain against your humanity. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I knew it. I knew it. this was going to happen. So, Wally, uh, you ha what was it that you got on your wits and awareness earlier? Five? So while you're as you're observing, you see Leaf sneak up to the side of the passenger side of the car, and then all of a sudden you just see intense shadows of oblivion stretch out meters away from her and encompass the car. The area she is standing in where she is centered is now a very dark point of the of the parking lot it's like there oh. it's like 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 while there are street lights like little lamp posts in the apartment building light cannot touch this ver this area it's uh your oblivion score is three right yes it is three so her shadows are extending let's see Oblit twice the practitioner's oblivion so six meters in diameter around her okay and that's clearly visible in in the parking lot like anyway, yeah you it, um, you are able a shadow ball you are it's lot. not a shadow ball it's more like light stopped existing here it's not like a ball of shadow. It just got very dark in this specific area. Like, all the lights just stopped working. I am going to message John and be like, Dad, Leaf is doing it again. Dad, He's Leaf. messing with the lights. But um, <laughs> with, with your awareness, with your awareness, you can also see the 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 lights of the s the headlights of the suv turn off you hear you see the da leaf you can see the dashboard go dark the car turns off and then you also hear emmerich's voice cut off mid-sentence we broke their car Next round. You'll probably come in. Next, Careful. next round. Parker, Emmerich, and Sean. Starting with Parker, what is your intention this round? Parker is going to basically block the doorway. Okay. Um, in case he tries to get up and go anywhere. Okay. So you are going to be standing guard. All right. If he. He's currently dominated, so he's not going anywhere for the next hour. But if he does for some reason break out of this by some miracle, by some act of Kane, uh, uh, just be ready to, uh, like, well, you'll, I'll have you roll uh, strength and brawl if he gets up. Sean, what is your intention for this round? Uh, so she moved to the front door or the back door in the bedroom? It's a, a uh, was it, yeah, that's a good question, Parker. Are you blocking the bedroom door or the balcony door? Are they both in the bedroom? Yes. Hmm. The, uh, we'll block the balcony door. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was next to the bedroom door, uh, but I will relay everything that uh, Wally texted me. So, you know, first off, you know, telling, you know, Emmerich is like, you know, we've been compromised. They have comms, but everything has gone dark. E Emmerich's going to sort of look at you and then he's going to go over to uh, Oscar. Now, question, Crafty. Yes. If I make him forget, will he still maintain his 
firmness on the bed. I, I'd make him forget that anything was just said as far as compromise, um, stuff like that. Or will he forget that he is dominated too? He will not forget that he is dominated because he has to fulfill he has to fulfill the requirement of being seated for an hour. Okay, so after the message relayed, I would look at Oscar and say, hey, you know, you should probably forget that they said anything. Go ahead and give me with the oh, fuck, with same role, right? Is, sa- is it the same role? Pretty sure, but I can uh, double check. Yeah, I'd, let's double check because like I've got, I got. I got my Malkavian cards out, and my Malkavian didn't have, uh, for cla- I forgot, I forgot, Cloud Memory, she had, uh, Compel. I, I will, I, I would say, too, that, uh, if he has a gun, you might want to disarm him, just in case. If you want, you could try, you could do that, uh, sh- uh Sean, since you are invisible. It is... All right, I'll, I'll try to do that What I need to roll. Sorry. Oh, no, it's Charisma and Dominate versus Wits and Resolve. All right, so Charisma and Dominate versus Wits and Resolve. Gotcha. So for you, um, it would be, uh, Sean, it would be a uh, Dexterity and Larceny roll. Difficulty of one because you are invisible. Just for clarity, so we're on the same page... Uh... It does say that there's no role required against an unprepared mortal. Uh, He's that's... prepared. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. He's also SI. <laughs> Fair. Uh, did you say I needed to roll better than a one, or you have to? You have to. The difficulty is one because uh, he you are invisible, so it's a surprise. It, like it's kind of like a surprise attack. Okay, I I got a two. Okay, with two you are able to you fi- you know where uh, a federally issued weapon is generally placed on the body. You slip your hand into the jacket, you grab it. He is forced to keep his hands on the bed anyway. I and I go ahead and uh, holster it in behind uh, the holster in my. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do the street street thing. Put it in the bed. Tuck it in the back. Uh, tuck it in the back of your uh, jeans. Nice. Yeah. What did you roll? Five with a crit. Five with a Not crit. Three. All Just right. Regular old crit. He also got five, but you you got a you got a crit. So meet you meet it. You beat it. So yeah, he you see him blink and just shake his head a little bit and just is once again just staying remaining on the bed. Did you want to take? Did you want me to move to the outside so that way you have around to think of what you're gonna do? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, see, so struggling a little bit. All right, we move now back outside. Wally, you see the dark area of the parking lot. It's the kind of area that looks like if you walk over there, you're probably gonna get mugged. That's the vibe you get when you look at it. It's not like pitch black. It's just very dark over there. Okay, is no smoke bomb. Masquerade no, it's not beach. smoke it's bomb just masquerade. Weird region. corner of the parking lot. It's just a weird. It's like the an area of the parking lot that's a lot darker than the rest of the parking lot. Cool, cool. Okay, that works. But Leaf is at the center of it, <laughs> and because of your wits and awareness roll, you did beat her dex and stealth. You are able to see that uh, her eyes are pitch black. Here we go again. So, Wally, what is your intention this round? Uh, if I go there, I not only break her cover, but I break my cover. Uh, is the guy inside the car moving? He is look. He he's. Anything? He looks like he is moving in the vehicle. He looks like he's about to go, reach for the door and get out. Okay, I'm gonna just keep watch because I don't have enough charisma to stop him on going anywhere. Fair enough. <laughs> no, nor is strength enough to prevent Le- uh, Leaf from killing him. 
<laughs> if I need to. So I'ma just be here in my comms, in my, my phone, being like... Luckily, our little Lasombra is not hangry just yet. She's just a little spoopy right now. So speaking of our Lasombra, Leaf, what is your intention this round? You said that he is going to attempt to get out of the vehicle? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, just a little reminder that uh, Shadowcast is ac actually, like, absolutely terrifying to be in. Yeah, no, he's scared. He's um, so... He's trying to I'm... get out of the car for a reason. So, yeah, so what Leaf is going to do is, does she see through the window that he is attempting to get out? Yes. Okay, so Leaf is going to go around to the driver's side of the car and um, wait for the exact moment that he goes to open the door if it will even open at this point, because all of the electronic parts of the vehicle is dead. And so the lock mechanism might just be jammed. Well, I mean, e even if that's, he still is able to like manually open it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So as soon as he goes to open the door, uh, Leaf is going to push up against his arm from a crouched position and um it's hard to describe what i'm thinking so with her with her left arm she's going to grab his arm and shove it against the front part of the door the inside of the door um which will turn his body towards the windshield and allow her to snake her other arm behind his neck and efficiently like put him into a choke hold so okay you're trying to so you're trying to sleep or hold him yes all right um so first let me see if he notices you i really hope not he got three successes so no he does not see he does not notice you it's also very dark, so he had a negative. But uh, so you see, so I will need a strength and brawl from you. Okay, um, because I haven't, <laughs> because I haven't done this before. Do I get any bonuses from this being kind of like a sneak attack? Like yes. So him because he didn't know he does because he didn't notice you. The difficulty is one. That's what's great about uh, Obfuscate, like Nosferatu, even if they aren't fighty, if they have really good Obfuscate, they get one good hit in. It's all they really need. Like, sneak attacks are no joke in any tabletop. They're particularly nasty in, in VTM. They are in very VTM. nasty in VTM because there's no Revivify in VTM. Can I blood search for this? Absolutely. I did not pass the check for that, but it's okay. It's going to be okay. I got three successes. Three successes. You are effectively able to, you surprise him and are able to get him in a, uh, a sleeper hold. 15 to 20 seconds. That's all it takes. All right. So. I'm just silent. I do not say a single, not, Leaf does not say a single word. He's just engulfed. He just thinks that he's like engulfed in void right now and just slowly drifting off, totally not into oblivion. Wally, uh, because you didn't actually do an action this round, do you realize what you're witnessing? Are you just giving, uh, like, a play-by-play? -play? Yes, I am giving a play-by-play -play like Leaf is now choke-holding the guy. <laughs> just be careful what you- just be careful what you relay over the phone! She's just saying the guy. She didn't say FBI guy. She just said the guy. I'm just saying the guy. Dead, I'm scared. 
Dad, I'm scared. <laughs> All right. I, I'm just saying, I'm just so glad I have a burner phone right now. But yes, uh, Sean is relaying the play by play like he's some football announcer, dude. <laughs> he's saying this? He's saying like, on your calm. I'm you're, calm you're, you're on your earpiece because yeah, I can't on, on, use mine. Because uh, I, I have, I have my, uh, Silence of death and stuff on, so the only way you can hear me is through the calm. Gotcha. Uh, Emmerich is going to say to the empty room, We don't have time. I need to do this now. You're the leader. Make the call. Can I do this? The implication being, I need to blood bond him now to make this easier because right now we are in a time crunch. It's what makes the most sense. It just you do it. Just do it now. Uh, Emmerich is going to look at Oscar and say, it, remember, me, mesmerize again because uh -huh. why not? Uh, rouse for yeah, a, rouse a bunch of rouse checks about to happen now because Tremir have to do blood bond, blood bond rouses twice. <laughs> yeah, uh, so um, pass the first one for the, the mesmerize. Uh, and I'm just going to be like, I'm going to look at him and be like, you're going to drink all of this. And you're not going to move. You're going to stay exactly where you are. All you're going to do is drink. Are we clear? Uh, Go ahead and give me your manipulation and dominate. He does intelligence and resolve. Uh, that's seven with a crit three successes he did not pass yeah uh okay so now i'm gonna need two rouse checks from you uh failed the first one passed the second one all so right. i am now at three hunger all right all right so uh you bite your wrist uh and present the uh you the you the op the cut the sliced open flesh to him and he puts his mouth on it and starts drinking and you force more than the normal amount because you've got deficient blood as a Tremere uh, to the <laughs> I said what I said to the uh, to <laughs> it's not VTM unless someone gets a dig at the Tremere um, Fair. but you, you feed more than the, the needed amount to Oscar and he swallows it. So the first step of the blood bond is in place. Oh, you son of a bitch. You tricked me. I didn't see that. I, you can say no, but that is, that was, yes. I didn't try to trick you. I did. We're going to put a I, pin in that. We're going to put a pin in that just because I got to double check some uh, rules as written stuff before, before we settle fair on enough. that. Because I, I don't know if that's that counts towards ghouls too. As far as Emmerich knows, uh, he would absolutely uh, think he has to do two more. So Yes. As far as you are aware, you would still have to do two more regardless. But we will put a pin in the flaws for right now because, like I said, I need to I need to check. I need to double check that. Yeah, no worries. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, you have fed him and he is still on the bed for the next hour. He has not moved, so he has a little bit of blood dribbling on his chin. Uh, Emmerich would wipe the blood off. Oh, that's so sweet. Now he's going to feed because he's he's real hungry. Not okay. Super hungry, but he's going to go behind him. Okay. And like, cause he's sitting there on the bed and bite into his neck. I'm going and to attempt to slake to hunger. Actually, okay, hang on a second. I'm going. He's he's standing still, so you don't really have to do anything to roll for that. Uh, yeah, go for it. Just uh, yeah, start feeding. You, so, how, much, yeah. how much hunger are you slaking? Two. So I can be at like full capacity for the memories I'm about to put into his head. All right. So Parker and Sean, you have seen that the ghoul has been, the, the, the process has been started. You feel confident that this part of the situation has been taken care of. You are, the, are aware, though, that there is an entirely different situation going on outside with the second FBI agent currently in a sleeper hold by the by by uh, 
Leaf the Lasombra. <laughs> so what is your and what are your intentions for this round? Emric spent because he has just made and fed from a ghoul. Um I am probably going to since he has everything under control here, mm -hmm. as far as I'm aware, uh, I'm going to tell him I'm uh, heading down to check on the situation outside. So uh, even though they can't see me, they know that I'm heading down there. So if uh, Parker... Yeah, Parker would need, to, would need to open the door for you so your obfuscate doesn't break. So, uh, Parker will do that. Yes, do the honors for me. Thank you. <laughs> Should I stay here? Emmerich has everything handled here. We might need you downstairs. Okay. All right. Literally, then everybody but the person leaving down the shop. Going downstairs. So you head downstairs and we move to Wally and Leaf. You get down there just in time to see, like, you, you're what you to witness the next round of Wally and Leaf. So you are aware of you're seeing the dark patch that wasn't there before, like where there's no light anymore. It's just very dark, like, very, like, dark back alley dark. Like, you don't want to go down there dark. In fact, it's very unsettling looking at it. It's it's spooky, like it's spooky darkness. You wa you look at it and you feel like unnerved by it. You don't want to go near it. That kind of scary. Like you're a little kid again, afraid of the dark. Scary. So Wally, what is your intention this round? You do see Parker and uh, Sean have joined you. I am going to type. Mm hmm. To Sean, did you leave the Tremor alone? You, oh, respectfully, not not not. Oh right, that she wouldn't Tremere. see. I'm she wouldn't see. Say... She wouldn't see Sean. You would see Parker, so you would assume that Sean is there. Yeah, because I heard him. Uh, I'm going to type exactly this. Did you leave the nerd alone? Respectfully, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Don't leave him alone. Emmerich has everything handled. Here uh, seems to be the other way around. What? What's going on? He's not trustworthy, but okay. So, Leaf, what is your intention this route? So, Leaf is going to wait a few extra seconds after he has passed out. Oh, just he's going to gonna fight. Her... He's going to fight. Each round is, is like... Oh yeah, he like around. How many seconds is around? In VTM, I believe it's twelve, but I would have to double check combat rules. Unless someone knows it off the top of their head. What's the, sorry, what's the combat? So it only takes fifteen seconds in that hold for somebody to. I know, off. but a round in BTM is like is this is a combat round still? Type. Uh, if you if you're going to like maintain a grapple, it generally is kind of what this is. It would be still a strength and brawl, I believe. And, no, I'm I'm checking how long a round is in BTM. It's I think. I think it's. Okay, mm. each round of combat. Mm -hmm. doo, 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 doo. There's no clear definition. Son of a bitch. Love that. I love that for all of us right now in this moment when we need it the most. Curse you, editors! I'm you kidding. I love you. I, mean, seconds. I don't know. You could just do the three and done rule. Yeah, this is round three, right? Yes, this is round three. So, Leaf, go ahead and give me a uh, strength and another strength and brawl. Oh my! Fucking... Oh, God. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, all right. He, he, don't fuck he, me you over. Hold, you have him in a grapple already. So he he, he while he is trying to fight back, he has a penalty because you already have him in grapple. So there's that, and he only rolled one success. So. It's because he's old. This is why. This is why we need to. Like, this is why the retirement age should be forty. 
His knees aren't what they used to be, guys. It's because someone put the men in black uh, gif in, in beta chat, so I immediately made him old. That's fair. Yep. Like if you like the sleeper hold you're doing to this guy is uh is the guy from Men in Black 100% now. I got three successes. Three successes. That's enough. All right. So three. Were you following the three rounds and out rule? Three rounds and out rule. Um, Leaf, you feel him go limp in your grasp. Okay, so Leaf is going to continue holding pressure until she can feel his heart starting to dip into dangerous territory just to really seal in the deal and make sure that he's out for a, a little while. Give me a wits and awareness, and yes, you can add your heightened senses because you're using touch. That's six successes with a messy crit. Okay, so yeah, with a messy crit. Oh god, Give, can you roll a d10 for me? Oh, not again. I rolled a five. All right, five. Where's my bat? Where's my compulsion uh, chart? Oh god, I think I know which one that is too. I think I do too. It's what, what happens? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no no no! Five's not bad. Five is dominance. Okay, I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was the. I one. thought it was harm as well. I thought yeah, it was harm. harm as well. No, five is. We're dominance. just gonna have a repeat. Five is dominance. So, uh, you're hit with the dominance compulsion in this moment. So basically, uh, until someone does. You can't use teamwork and you can't uh, and perform. You cannot use teamwork and perform any action that avoids establishing dominance or challenging authority, or else oh, you suffer okay. a two dice penalty. You know, at this point, Scott's words of "you would have made a great bruja" echoes in my head. You really would have. But yeah, um, you feel you do feel when he reaches that point, though. So up to you if you want to. Yes. So, uh, so Leaf is going to let go, mm -hmm. and then um, she would like to check the driver's side back door and see if she can get in stealthily behind him, and then keep her arms in that sleeper position, but relaxed, and then wait for the coterie to get to the SUV. This so is just like a safety precaution. So you're just sure. hold, you're just like holding, maintaining the sleeper hold, but you're basically just holding him up at this point, right? Yes, I'm maintaining the the sleeper hold position. I'm holding him up in the in his seat, and I'm sitting behind him in gotcha. the SUV. Okay, easy enough. All right, so you've put him back. And in I've the also, yeah, I'd, I've also shut the doors. All right, so he's back in the SUV. You've arranged it. You're just in the back seat, holding onto his neck. Correct. All right. Easy enough. All right. So. Oh, and and I am counting down the seconds to the 10 minute mark and making sure that I don't go past eight minutes because I know that cloud memory only. OK, fair enough. Goes for a certain period. And I want to make him forget this entire encounter, including the shadows. Well, he's going to be out for longer than 10 minutes. That's for damn sure. I, I can wake him up. I mean, just for the record, a sleeper hold, if you release tension and pressure, the person usually wakes up in 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, but... really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, that's why, that's why, that's why I'm you holding. Need to be I don't to know be these hard. things. I'm not a delinquent. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I, I, I played the fifth. Don't call me a delinquent. I just, I just okay. played the fifth. You How know, about I just this? know what I know. How about this? I don't know these things. I'm a weak little bitch. <laughs> 
I don't fight people. All right, so, all right, so you, okay. So um, I'll say that round's over. You guys can converge. Uh, Emmerich, Oscar's not going anywhere for the next hour. So y you can safely leave him in the apartment, no confident that he will not leave that bed for an hour. I'm going to, in this case, uh, going to be, sorry, the, no one has communicated to Emmerich he should join them, yes? But yet? I didn't miss that. Uh, Sean doesn't know the whole process of ghoul making, so he's not aware that you can leave him. <laughs> you Fair well, enough. you heard him do the dominate to him, so you know that he you you saw him dominate the guy to stay in the bed for an hour. Either way, Emmerich, before he does anything, is going to check him for any comms devices like cell phones, radios, stuff like that. Uh, and probably take his wallet as well. If, okay. Now his wallet's probably under, under. He's sitting on that now. Probably not, unless his wallet's in his jacket. Mm. Uh, if it dude. is, I'll take it. He's a dude. It's in his back pocket. He's an FBI agent. It's in his back be... pocket. Fair enough. I'm not going to go to, to go there. I'm he needs some semblance. He needs some semblance of a butt cheek back there. So, uh, the thorough search. Any additional firearms? Maybe a secondary weapon. Maybe. Uh, I think it's a cell phone and so like that. So you go, he's standing still, so you're going through it, uh, through him, and uh, you find, you do find comms. So you find a radio, you find, you find the earpiece. Uh, you find keys to, you find car keys that presumably are for his vehicle back at the office. You find his, like his wallet, you know, you can say, sense his wallet is in a pocket, but you can't really get to it without moving him. Uh, but and you find his badge. His badge is in his jacket pocket. All right, I will take those things and sort of put them on the like dresser table for the moment, and I'll just uh, look at him. And this is this is not going to be um, using any disciplines at this moment. He's just going to look at him and say, "Oscar, I need you to tell me where the journal is." Uh, it's back at the office excellent you're going to be getting to get that for me in a few days i think um you're one of them the word, aren't you does does the phrase the, the word si mean anything to you give me a wits and insight all right Uh, four successes. Four successes. Okay. You beat him by one. You see a flicker of recognition in his eyes when you say that phrase. I'll take that as a yes. Um... Do you want to tell me anything about how you got into that line of work? And to answer your question, I'm just a concerned citizen. What were your exact words for the Dominate? Was it just for him to stay there? Uh, it was to sit down, put both hands on the bed, and I think there was like a, a phrase, and, and not move for an hour, and then there's also a, and then we're going to negotiate about I think I said about the book. Okay. He is going... He is, uh... Not saying anything. It's okay. Um, and Emmerich's gonna look at him. And... He's, he's not going... looking at you aggressively because the of blood is in his system at this point. Mm -hmm. He remembers no. what you've done, done to him, by the way. He knows what you did to him. Mm -hmm. He yeah, knows no, what you are. You saying you're a citizen, you can see that he doesn't believe that for one moment. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not, not going to fight that. I don't want to... He, he is looking at me still, yes? because Not hostile... Not in any form of hostility, because like I said, the blood is in him now. He's appraising you right now. Good. He's looking at me, so I'm going to use... Um, forgetful Mind. And I'm going to look at him and be like... No, really. I'm a concerned citizen. We've been working together for years. We have go back so long. It is 
such a been such a pleasure doing business with you, and you know that I'm a safe person to trust with all of your secrets, particularly since we've had such a scandalous affair over the past few years. Wow, you guys ran with that boyfriend joke. Um, I went with it. It's fine. Okay, so it's going to be your manipulation and dominate. And, and I will blitz. And he's going to use desperation on this roll. I need to use the hunter roll. Uh, the hunter roller. I, I can I can bl uh, blood surge this, yes? Yes. So, what's uh, the resist roll again? Is it intelligence and oh, let me bring it resolve up. for forgetful mind? I think I have that. I code. think it's intelligence and resolve, but I uh, actually I'm not sure. I'm it's intelligence mind. and resolve. It is intelligence so and did, resolve. I did pass my blood surge. Okay. Intelligence and resolve. That's a pool of four. Uh, desperation. He's going to spend a willpower. Can I also spend a willpower? Yeah. Seven successes. All right. Me. He got four. So what... Okay, so... Concer in order, what did you say? Um, that basically... Uh, that we have a long working relationship. Conce that you were a concerned citizen? Concerned citizen with a long working relationship. Okay. That he, he knows he can trust me with his secrets. Okay. Because he has in the past. And that... Uh, we are involved in a very illicit and probably fairly passionate affair that, you know, he, he is an FBI agent. He's probably not All right. open about. Hey, he's from a Latin family. His mama loves him. His mo his mommy loves him no, ma no matter what. She loves Fair pride. <laughs> Excellent. She loves parades. Um. Okay. So, all right. The scandal. He, you see him blink like he's fighting it for a moment his face like contorts and stiffens but then he you see the face relax and he opens his eyes sorry what was that what was that what was that? what happened yeah. ask? no we were just talking about um you know uh you've been having a lot of problems at work and you had mentioned that, you know, uh, this group you're part of, this thing that's outside of the FBI. It, yeah. There was some um, sort of. I can't. I can't uh, give you the. I can't give you exact details. You know that. I, I know. I know. This is all very top secret. But I just. I want to make sure you're okay and make sure that you are, you know, doing the right thing. Uh, We're definitely I, doing the right thing. But why? Like it, it seems like it, it takes a lot out of you. Why? Why do you have to do this? I guess I just don't get it. No one else will get rid of the evil that needs to get be eliminated from the world. There's so much evil in the world. Why is this evil better or worse? Because it's what's pulling the strings. I thought that was sorry, but I thought that was you all at the, the, the FBI even the FBI has someone pulling their strings in the background well, either way um, I don't think he's going to show um, uh, he... I'll just chill here for about 50 minutes look 45 more minutes all right and then we should we should probably head out yeah so um you, you can tell your partner that we had leave together yeah that you 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 have you know i know you don't want him to know about us but make uh, sure that you know yeah, he I'll... knows that you're meeting a friend yeah i'll uh i'll talk to him outside <laughs> 
Leaf is okay. So you see, Leaf is just uh, keeping pressure on this dude's throat, and uh, you guys, the Nosferatu are not visible, but Leaf, you can see Parker. I don't know if anybody would see Leaf in the SUV. They would at this point. At this point, okay. Yeah. They know um, what you're doing. Wally has pointed out what you've been doing, so they are aware of where you are. Okay. Um. Oh, do I still want to keep shadow cast? I definitely should keep shadow cast going still. Um. Yeah. So Leaf is just sitting there, and her face is like peeked out behind the FBI agent that she currently has in a chokehold and <laughs> is just staring blankly at Parker while her eyes are just solid black and she looks completely expressionless. Yeah. Just nothing but void. Yeah, this and is that, the most cool. unsettling you've seen uh, Leaf ever look, Parker. And you know what? Leaf is still blushed, so it's still not as bad as it could be. It could be worse, yes. <laughs> But what are you guys gonna do? Leaf well, doesn't move. Heard Emmerich? What Emmerich told the guy that they are coming out? I was going to say, like, I, because I can hear everything Emmerich has been saying over the calm. Yes, you so can, I 100%. Know, <laughs> so I pretty much know the whole affair story. Mm -hmm. um, Emmerich, uh, do you have any more of that uh, mind juju shit left? Uh, Emmerich is going to sort of walk away from, from Oscar for a moment to respond. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, actually. What's up? Uh, well, for your story to fit, we might need you down here to uh, double up on his uh, partner. All right, give me give me a minute, and uh, I'll be down. Roger uh, that. And Emmerich will uh, look at Lanny, and he will then walk in front of uh, Oscar, so he's blocking his view, and sort of gesture for her to grab his phone and his badge and the stuff that he put on the table or on the on the on the dresser. Uh, so you know he's blocking view, and you know uh, I'll meet you downstairs. He's gonna look at Oscar and be like, uh, "You're just gonna wait here. I'll, I'll be be right back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta wait for the guy uh, anyway. Heck, yeah, you wait for him. I'll be right back. And Emmerich will kiss him on the cheek as he leaves. Oh, you're so cute. Gotta sell it. Gotta, gotta sell, sell it. it. Uh, and then he'll head downstairs and be like, "Okay, um, what? Where? Where's this?" this you person? see, I will say, you see that they're in in a in a very dark area of the parking lot now that wasn't this dark when you last were down there you see uh leaf holding on to this guy's throat so that way he stays unconscious excellent um and, and then Emma is gonna gesture to, to lanny and be like they hand me the phone essentially uh and take his phone and be like shit uh, and he's gonna give the one finger thing I uh, hold on one second, and he's gonna go back into the room, uh, and be like, "Oscar, what's your your? Can you? You can't. I need I need you to send a message to um. What was your partner's name again? I always forget his name. Damn it. <laughs> um. Waters. Yeah, I need you to message Waters. Uh, let him know that you'll be. Uh, going out, I, and he'll I'm so he'll bad at games. <laughs> gesture to uh, like hand the phone back, realizing that this person can't lift their hands, and he's like, "Oh, right, that we're, we're doing that." Um, how about I just message him for what? Was your, what was your passcode again? Uh, six one five nine. He's gonna put it in, and it's not a text over to, to Waters. Uh, this kid has nothing. This book is junk. I am going to go meet an old friend while I'm here. We'll catch up next week. Okay. So you send the text message. 
And yeah, send a text message and then I head back downstairs. All right. It's been about eight minutes since okay. he started getting choked out. So forgetful mind could still work. Okay. Or cloud uh, memory could still work. Got it. So I'm going to go uh, to directly to this guy in, in the thing, in the, in the car being choked, and be like, can we wake him up? Leaf is also you've seen Le you've seen Leaf like this before, but like yeah, she's it's it's it's, it's a little more intense than it was the last time it happened. She's gotten a little stronger. Or or you can just murder him, but I'd prefer you not. It's gonna be way more difficult to get this done. Stop treating me like a fucking child. Let's not kill. I just want to get this done. Can we just get this done? Leaf just glares. She just glares at him. Can you do what you need to do? Because I can definitely do what I need to do. Yes, if you can just let him wake up long enough for me to do what I need to do. Leaf has a visible eye twitch, but she does lessen the hold on him just because they're they've run out of time and i'm assuming get out of she the car fucking want to yes she gets out of the car and she stares down the fbi agent as he slowly comes to and waits to meet his eyes okay he starts to come to uh, you see his eyes open. Go ahead and give me a. It's charisma. Was it charisma and manipulation and dominate? Charisma and dominate. Charisma and dominate. For me. Yep. Uh, for cloud memory. Yeah. I was gonna do it, but he's a, you're gonna do it. He's 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 with Oscar, who now has been confirmed as SI. They know that these you guys exist. <laughs> okay. No, I just, I just yeah. uh, wanted to make sure. Yeah, he has some resistance built into him. Oh yeah, I forgot desperation. I. I'm going to blood surge, and I passed that check. Okay. I... Just got five successes with a messy crit. Not good. You wanna roll me a d10 for me? I rolled another five. Okay. You want me to roll again? No, it's dom It's the dominance compulsion. Well, you're still under the dominance yeah, compulsion. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. All right, I'm gonna yeah. say you just get a uh, one level hungrier then. Okay. I'm at four hunger. Okay. So... You he, op you, he opens his eyes, you look him in the eye, and you tell him to forget. Simple enough. That satisfies your compulsion. Do you drop the shadow cast? I, I do. I do it a split second before I say forget, and then, like, the moment I say forget, I literally, like, slink out of the way so that Emmerich can take over. All right, yeah, so uh, he just, he looks around, just sees, uh, lo like, he blinks, looks around, sees Emmerich and Parker now. Uh, Can I help you folks? Yeah, Waters, uh, Oscar sent me to talk to you. He, he, he said that, you know, and at this point, I'm going to, once I get his eyes. You actually, he actually, you do actually see him look away and go to check his phone. Oh, oh. he fucking ditched me. Yeah, he he said that you know. Are you Dennis? All... No, um, I'm 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 just a friend. Um, but he sent me down here. He said you were sleeping or something. I don't I don't know. I mean, I've just been waiting here for. Fuck! What the hell? And he just starts fiddling with the dashboard. 
Ah, oh, fuck, my car died. Um, hey, listen, I mean, folks, I can't- Oh, a tow truck or something? I, he, he look- Oh, wait, no, his phone's fried! His phone is fried. <laughs> so, no, he didn't see the text message. Uh, yeah, uh, so, I, anyway, um, he, but, what, okay, so he's not looking at me yet, that's fine. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he, he said you weren't responding to his texts or something. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, he was gonna head out. And my just phone's didn't, didn't dead and so's the car. Can you call me a tow truck? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I can, I can... can I just borrow your phone so I can uh, call uh, my work? Sorry, I don't. I don't let people use my phone. I'm sorry. Okay, um, fine. Uh, towing service. If... Uh, where are you, Where are you going? Uh, we're going. Uh, I'm go heading to Tampa, but I'll. I'm uh, uh, probably gonna have this towed to the police station. Okay, the the local one. Yeah. Yeah, I can have. It. That's pretty close, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, and he'll and Emmerich will take out his phone and not. Uh, his partner's phone uh and and start uh looking up tow services and call it tow service. yeah i'm here uh if you address just... yeah address blah 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 uh it's not for me uh, it's just just some some guy who's got his car uh, he wants to tow it to the local police station is that okay uh yeah they'll send a car right away they'll send a tow truck Excellent. right away uh and it, emmerich will look at it you're paying for this right this is yeah my, my my job will, my job will cover it Oh, okay, just making sure that you don't want me to pay for it. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. My, we, uh, it, I, it's tax, it's deductible. Uh, yeah, he'll pay you when you get here. Uh, he and Emmerich will like look at the suit real quick. Yeah, he looks like he can afford it. So and it's a fairly nice SUV. So yeah, just if you could hurry, it'd be great. He looks at Parker. Isn't it a little too late for you to be out this late, hun? Uh. No. Oh, I'm an adult. He just, he, he like looks you up and down. Sure. I'm with my dad anyway. It doesn't matter. Are you saying Dennis? Are you saying Emmerich's your dad? Yes. He's always like that. No, it's, uh, I've been dealing with it for years. Okay. Uh, but she is technically an adult now. Yeah, they yeah, just they watch out. They're go they get uppity at this age. Yeah, no, I've noticed that. Uh, you have kids of your own? Yeah, I got a couple. How old are they? Yeah, just I got a teenager, and I got a couple. Uh, another one. Oh well, that's. Is the other one adult or younger? Just yeah, like... uh, younger. But uh, I'm good. Uh, thanks for calling me the tow truck. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here till it gets here. Uh, well, enjoy the time. And Emmerich is gonna glare over at Parker for a second and look back. They grow up so fast. <laughs> I'm just gonna go wait in the car. I'm just gonna walk off. Yes, that's that tracks. Before you know it, they won't even want to talk to you. Uh, and with that, he'll Emmerich will also start heading back. I guess he, Emmerich would head back to the car because he wants to keep up the illusion that he and uh, Parker are uh, apparently father and daughter, so that's a whole thing. Do the invisible Nas also get in the car along with Leaf? Is Oscar really staying behind just waiting for a never He's there. He's stuck, he's stuck in there for 45 minutes. The tow truck, uh, Emmerich would have known, will get there in like 30 Okay, so I, I guess that at least if he decides to search the place, I planted the books. Yeah. <laughs> so he has something to get back. But yeah, um, so you you guys get in the car. Lanny yeah, for a period. Uh, leave with Oscar's keys documents. Yeah, Lanny has that <laughs> stuff. So you guys Are we leaving with them. So you guys get in the car and you and Lanny starts driving for the appearance that you guys left, but is circling the block. Eventually, okay. you see the tow truck arrive and start towing the SUV away with the other FBI agent in the front seat. Fifteen minutes later, Oscar walks out. I'm assuming. Emmerich. I mean, before he walks out, I would try to get back. I would. Okay. Assume. What like, are... and, and 
once we get back, I, if I'm alone, that's fine with Lanny. If I'm with Lanny, that's fine. If other people want to come, that's also fine. But uh, Emmerich would would um, uh, go to Oscar. It's like, okay, um, we're going to get in a car and go for a little trip. Uh, we're, you're going to be staying at my place for a few days. Um, and this is all going to be using Mesmerize again. Okay. Um, we're, we're going on a trip. We're going to be staying at my place for a couple of days. Um, you know, Give and... me the rouse check and yep. do the manipulation and... I might as well blood surge this as well, because why not? I passed that one. Okay. But yeah, I, did fail, saying... I did fail the rouse check for the actual use of the ability, so I'm back to two hunger. Okay. I, I do stay invisible and follow Emric, by the way. Okay. Uh, that is uh, six successes. All right, you beat him by one. Perfect. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, he doesn't argue. He'll get in the car with you guys. You all get in the vehicle, and you guys head back to the Haven. Mission accomplished with no mess. And... I have to resolve my stain. Oh yes. So how many empty boxes? So how many empty boxes do you have left? You would have only taken one stain for the Oblivion. At five humanity, I believe that leaves you with four boxes unchecked. Yes. So in the dice roller, using the dice roller, I would like you to roll four dice for me. There it is. Did you hit accept? Oh, here we go. One success. Yeah. You passed. That's all you needed. You just need oh. one success for a remorse roll. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That was close. That was very close. You were almost at four humanity there. Oh, man. That would have been real bad for yeah. me. <laughs> all right. But with that, we're going to go ahead and bring this session of Mementos to a close. Thank you all so much for joining us and listening to us here tonight. Uh, make sure to go on our Twitch channel throughout the week and catch our various shows that are on the air. We have on Sundays, we have Bloody Strings with Bear of the Bard as the ST. It's our Camarilla Chronicle. On Tuesdays, we have Rage Across Tampa, a story told by our lead storyteller, Kent. It's our Werewolf the Apocalypse stream. On Thursdays, we have uh, Don't Get Caught, which is our Anarch BTM stream, as teed by yours truly. And on Fridays, we have our Hunter the Reckoning Chronicle, What the Hell is That?, as teed by Cole. And then on Saturdays, we have our After Dark special. I don't know who the guest is going to be this Saturday, but it's sure to be an interesting one, so make sure to check it out. And we will see you all here next week for another episode of Mementos. Until then, see you later. Bye. This has been a St. Petersburg by Night production. Mementos is produced in agreement with the World of Darkness and Dark Pack. The storyteller for Mementos is Nikki. Tonight's characters were voiced by Leisha, Wex, Ro, Panshi, and Lilith. Visit our website at stpetebynight.com for more information about all of our productions and how you can become part of our community. Thanks for listening. Until next time, fangs, stakes, and claws out.